and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing Disney Silhouette Magique colouring book. This is by Hachette Publishers and it centres around Disney characters which are formed as silhouettes on the page and are surrounded by different items from the film or the story that they're known for. Now before I actually get started in the review I have to say a massive massive thank you to Liza Shaw who is one of my lovely followers who contacted me uh, the weekend I think or maybe the start of this week um, just asking if there was anything that she could contribute or give back to the channel to me for all of the tutorials and charts and things that I put out there for free and I was so so grateful to have this message um, you know it's so nice to be appreciated and um, it was just really lovely that someone would want to do that so um, because obviously I don't ask for payments or anything for charts and things like that I said please have a look on my Amazon wish list and if there's anything that you would like to choose from there I'll be very very grateful to review it on the channel and this is the book that she sent so as you can see I've got a little Amazon note from her saying to enjoy the gift and thank you so so much again Liza for this absolutely over the moon and yeah just thank you okay so the book itself is quite long and narrow it's not quite a4 it's around about 30 by 21 centimeters but it is quite thick surprisingly so actually I didn't think uh, when I ordered it that it was actually going to be as thick as it was so it says on the front that there are 60 coloring pages and it's from the anti, uh, sorry, not anti, yeah, anti-stress range from Hachette. So Hachette actually do quite a number of different colouring books, including a number of Disney ones. There's actually a really good one um, called Disney Portraits, which I've got my eye on, and that looks fantastic. But this is the one that I really wanted if I could possibly get it. So as you can see, we've got a beautiful matte cover with some nice um, pink foiling. It's a really nice dusky pink foiling. And the back of the book is actually hard backed with card so you can colour on this on your lap or anywhere that you know you might need a bit of support. So I'll just go through the book obviously it's got to be this way on because of the format of the book so it might chop off a little bit I'll try not to uh, let it. So here we have got an Alice in Wonderland illustration so the silhouette on this one is the white rabbit I think and around it we've got all these clocks so it's absolutely fantastic and every single one of these pages has a few splashes of colour and they really bring out the the silhouette as you will see on the later one that I've actually coloured. So here we've got uh, Merida from Brave, we've got Mickey Mouse, we have got now, I haven't seen The Incredibles, don't shoot me, my kids will, um, but I think, is this Elastigirl from The Incredibles? You might have to help me out with some of these guys. I do love Disney, but I'm not, you know, I'll, I'll admit I'm not the best at identifying every single character. So here is Pinocchio, is it? No, hang on, there's no nose there, so what is it? I don't know. It could be Pinocchio, just not with the nose, but that would be just a bit weird. Tell me if you know what that one is. This is Moana. I, I just had to find the name there. Absolutely love this film. This is one that I've seen many, many times, but I find it very difficult to watch because I always cry every single time the grandma is on the screen. Um, some of you might know that I lost my nana about four years ago and we were like that. We were tight. We were proper soulmates and it sort of destroyed me to lose her. Um, so every time I see anything to do with a child and the gran grandma, it just, it does me. Um, so here we've obviously got Winnie the Pooh. This one is Wally, I believe. This one looks like Dumbo, so it's set all around the circus. And even if you can't quite make out the shape of the silhouette, once you've done all the colouring of the things around it, it really, really sticks out. So, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking Pocahontas. Let me know if I'm right. This one is Tinkerbell. We've got one of the cars from Cars. Here we've got Peter Pan. We've got the, um, the island and the skull and um, the treasure and things like that. This one I think must be Snow White because we've got all the apples, the poison apples. 
Now then, this could be the crocodile from Peter Pan. I'm just looking at the silhouette, the crocodile standing up, and we've got all the boom bangs of the, um, the bomb inside the crocodile. Here we've got ants. I only recognise that really because of the, uh, the little prongs at the front. Prongs? What do you call them? Antennae. <laughs> prongs. Um, this is Mowgli from the Jungle Book, so we've got lots of exotic types of leaves and things around him. This is Cinderella, we've got the carriage, the clock, the pumpkin, the shoe. Here is, I think, Daisy Duck. Then we've got one of the characters from Planes. This is a beautiful one that I have actually seen coloured on one of the Facebook groups, absolutely stunningly with beautiful pastel colours. This is Bambi. Here we have, I think, Princess Jasmine with that sort of um, flowing hair there and the big puffy dress. Here's Goofy with his house and uh, his dog. What's the dog called of uh, Goofy? I can't remember. And here's the one that I've done. It's from Inside Out, another one of my kids' favourite films. And I use Prismacolors to colour this. And as you can see, just by colouring the outside illustrations, it really makes that silhouette pop in the middle. And yeah, I had so much fun doing this. This one is, I think, The Lion King. So this is Simba with Zazu on top of his head. And there's lots of safari sort of African themed illustrations around there. Now then, this is probably Rapunzel from Tangled because it's all this hair around here and then we've got all the lights. So that's another film that I really like, is Tangled. Sorry, some of these pages are stuck together. Um, who is this guy? So we've got the decoder. I don't really recognize any of this stuff. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments who you think this is. This, I think, is Ratatouille. So we've got all of the food and things behind him and he's carrying that big spoon. Uh, this is the Sheriff of Nottingham, Robin Hood type film. Was it called Robin Hood when it was a Disney film? I'm not sure, I haven't seen it, but I recognise him from the feather in his cap and all the arrows. <clears throat> and I should really recognise him living in Nottingham myself. I think that this is Mulan could be wrong I haven't seen Mulan either I'm really actually I love the Disney aesthetic but I haven't actually seen an awful lot of the, the Disney films so here is Monsters Inc we've got Boo in the middle as the silhouette we've got Sully and Mike and all sorts of other illustrations from the film this must be 101 Dalmatians so we've got the lovely sort of Victorian style houses of London and the cars and the taxis and stuff now then, this has the uh, teapot and the Cogsworth and the rose, so this must be Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Now then, I think this film is called The Emperor's New Groove, I think. I'm sure that my kids had a PlayStation game once um, where they were playing this and I just recognised the headdress. Could be wrong again. Here we've got Nemo, or Nemo's dad. It's surrounded by lots of different characters from Finding Nemo. This one, I think, is the Aristocats. This looks like Frozen, so I think this is uh, Elsa. Here we've got the genie from Aladdin. And another one from Wally, I think. This one again is Alice in Wonderland, surrounded by teacups and the eat me, drink me potions. I think this might be Hercules. Let me know if I'm wrong. This is from Zootopia or Zootropolis. Again, one of my kids' favourite films. I absolutely love that film. Uh, this one. This one I'm not sure, it looks like two cats. Could be the Aristocats again, but I'm not sure. This is Ariel from The Little Mermaid. We've 
got Stitch, I think, from Lilo and Stitch. Here is, of course, Woody from Toy Story and all the other friends. Now, this could be the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, I think, because we've got the castle in the background. I think this is the Princess and the Frog. And then we've got Minnie Mouse. And not sure on this one. This one is Lady and the Tramp. Love that one. Here we've got Sleeping Beauty because we've got the spindle, the needle. Now then, what's this one? So we've got lots of fish, we've got a guitar. Could this be Lilo from Lilo and Stitch? I think it is. I think this is Elsa, or Anna, sorry, from Frozen. And this is, uh, I can't remember her name. Is it Cecilia from uh, Monsters, Inc., Mike's girlfriend? And then we have a little puppy, looks like France. Not sure what that one is. So we've got a dragon, and these look like the um, these look like the Cinderella's fairy godmothers. But there's three of them. I'm not really sure what film that one is. Right, what's this one? We've got a really weird long. So this is. I think this might be a frog. Is it long long legs? We've got the crocodile here. Not sure about that. Uh, this one must be one of those dinosaur ones, but I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but it's got this big dinosaur across it and some in the background as well. Is it the land before time? Or the land that time forgot or something? Um, 101 Dalmatians again. I think this is Cruella in this silhouette this time. And I think this is Cinderella's fairy godmother. Here we've got one of the... Um, Dwarves from Snow White. Um, what's this one? This one is is it Ursula. It's Ursula from um, The Little Mermaid because you can see all the tentacles there. And that is the last one. So as you can see, you get absolutely loads of different pages to colour in. Loads and loads. It's really good value for money. Speaking of price, it's selling on Amazon UK for £8.25. Brilliant price, I think. Absolutely incredible for the, um, you know, the style of illustration, the whole Disney thing, um, the sort of the theme of it being silhouettes and that kind of unique thing that, um, it, you know, it, it's just unique, I think. Um, so I can't find it on Amazon US or Book Depot. So I think if you're going to have to order it from abroad, you're going to have to do that by Amazon UK. And I'll be leaving the link in the description for you to do that. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this review. Thank you again so much to Liza for sending this book to me from my Amazon wish list. And uh, yes, I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.